Hi, CCM family. Jamie Vaughn here, and I am with two amazing guests. This is a highlight for me. I am here with Mike Ferris and the amazing, legendary Gloria Gaynor. You are making a career moment for me. Thank you so much. We're here in Nashville tonight at 3rd and Lindsley, and Mike is doing his Christmas special right now, and a special guest that nobody knows is here is going to be Gloria tonight. Thank you guys so much for coming and talking to CCM Magazine today. Thank you. Thanks. Now, Gloria, you have a new Christian album out called Testimony. Yes. I would love to hear the story of how the two of you collaborated on it. Well, um, it was Chris Stevens' idea to to bring the the producer mm-hmm. to bring Mike on, and um, when I first met him, I was like, <clears throat> he's special. Um, <laughs> 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 but, I mean, it took like two seconds to mm-hmm. fall in love with him um, because he's such a sweet guy and and an amazing talent. And I am so honored to have you on my album oh. uh, because he is he's just incredible. He mm-hmm. really is. So you two did a duet of Bob Dylan's mm. Man of Peace. Yes. And we just heard it in Soundcheck. It's amazing. Thank you. Why that song? Again, Chris Stevens chose that song. Uh, when I heard the words, I was all for it mm-hmm. because, um, you know, that guy needs to be exposed. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. we, we go around um, not recognizing him and not realizing and, and sometimes even shying away from uh, mentioning him and, the, and and thereby he gets away with a lot mm-hmm. of stuff. So we need to put an end to that. So I just thought I'd kind of wake the people up and let them know that sometimes he comes as a man of peace. Very true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, Mike, you had an amazing testimony in and of yourself. You were in the Screaming Cheetah Willies, which I think is the best band name ever. (laughs) And then you've opened for Bob, I'm sorry, you've opened for um, Dave Matthews and Sheryl Crow, and then now you're doing Christian music. Opened for Bob Dylan. You did you? Okay, amazing. So how did going from that to walking the Christian path come about for you? Uh, well, it, it's always, for me, we were talking about this recently, it's, all, it's always been uh, God for me. I've always been on a spiritual journey ever since I was a small child, even though I wasn't brought up in church, per se. But it's always been, I've always had my eye on, that was, that was the goal f- mm-hmm. for, for my journey, was, was to be closer to God, this God of this universe. So it's always been there, even with... Um, even with the wheelies, you know, mm-hmm. back back then, um, I struggled with addiction, and and uh, so when I came out of that, that's when I really decided. Uh, well, there, it was a few things. I just I just decided, you know what, I'm going to do what I love and start making the music that I love, and not worry about how it, it's going to be marketed mm-hmm. or you know how we're going to make a living at it, basically, mm-hmm. and. You know, the, fu- the funny thing about it is, is that you do what you love and what is, is put in your heart and the money, all the, everything else takes care of itself. And so that's been the journey I've been on uh, for the past, since 2007. Mm-hmm. And know. tell us about winning your first Grammy. Well, uh, if you haven't won a Grammy yet, I highly recommend okay, it. Okay, I'll put that it's on my list. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I'll put it on my list. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, don't you think? Geez. Absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, Absolutely. So yeah, winning it was was totally. It was it was when I did the record shine for all the people. It was the goal, sonically for that album. And I remember being in the studio talking about that being the goal. That's the standard. But I never ever imagined that we would actually be nominated. Mm-hmm. Well, we we were nominated, and of course we we won. And of all people to present the award to me that day was Gloria. Yeah, it was really amazing. I asked Gloria the first time we talked, I said, you know, by the way, you you presented me with, with my Grammy, and uh, and I've been in these situations before, and I, I, I didn't expect you to remember this. I said, do you, do, you, do you remember that? And she was like, I don't have a clue. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I was doing that day. And, I, and that's exactly <laughs> what I expected, because I, I wouldn't have remembered it either. And uh, and but the first time we talked, we talked for she actually called me personally to ask me to be on the record, which is never 
ever done in this business. And she called me, and and I'm standing in my kitchen. I can't believe I'm talking to Gloria Gaynor. And we ended up talking for about a half hour, and we talked about, like, immediately jumped into good life stuff, you yeah. know, the, yeah. the human condition stuff, the, the story of, of, of us we're sharing. And that's the, I live for that. And so I knew I, I found a, a, a new special friend. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, Miss Gloria, you have won for I Will Survive, mm-hmm. a Grammy. And yes. now testimony is up mm-hmm. for two. Yes. So you have best gospel album mm-hmm. for the entire project. Yes. And then for um, talking about Jesus with Yolanda Adams, yes. which is an, a Absolutely. fun song. I love that song. And okay. for that's best gospel performance. Mm-hmm. What does that mean to you to go from winning for disco to now being nominated for gospel? Uh, it means to me that uh, I'm I'm uh, fulfilling my purpose, mm-hmm. and uh, and I'm kind of uh, uh, being rewarded for it. To be nominated is a wonderful thing because the nominations come from your peers, mm-hmm. people who know what it takes to 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 accomplish these things, and so it's quite an honor to be nominated to win the Grammy. I would at last be able to balance out my piano. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and if I win two, mm-hmm. you know that the triangle is the strongest um, shape That's in it. nature. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> it'll just be great. And what is it like blending to the sounds of both of you? Both of your um, genres that you participate in normally are very different. Mm-hmm. How is that blending for you working? It's great because I've always said, you know, like on on radio, they have one station plays this kind of music, one place station plays that kind of music. I never understood that because I mm-hmm. never knew a person that only had one kind of music. Right. Yeah. And so I, I guess they knew to do some kind of process of elimination to find out, to figure out what they're going to play or whatever. But I say all that to say that. People are loving it because that's the way they listen to music. They don't just listen to one kind of music Mm -hmm. in in most cases. And so when they hear the different genres of music at the same time, they're very pleased to hear that. So Mm -hmm. I'm very pleased to do it. The two of you have performed live before, correct? Yes. What is your favorite story of what's happened on stage before? Oh, I don't even know why that came to mind. (laughs) <laughs> I'll, tell you what, I'll tell you what, you know what comes to mind immediately for me? What? Is that we consistently mess up at the same point. Oh, okay. <laughs> on, on things. I don't know if I'm, I'm probably messing G up, but I, I, it, it seems like every time we, 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 don't, we, we won't get on the same page on the exact same part. And I'm going, is that me? Or is oh, that, it's us. It's just us. <laughs> yes, it's just us. It's just us. <laughs> Now, I know that you're an author as well. Any more books or devotionals on the horizon? I'm doing a book now, and uh, I've been writing it for, or trying to write it for a couple of years, and I went to a Christian conference recently. My friend went off a prayer, and when she came back, she said, um, the the minister wants you to come up. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. So I went up, and she said, God said, finish the book. There you go. Like, okay. I'm also um, um, I'm going to do a cooking show. Okay. Because I love to cook. Mm-hmm. And so I, I'm, I'm going to be probably cooking and singing at the same time. and Even talking about some of the things, subjects in the book. Mm-hmm. You know, so, and, and another gospel album is certainly coming. Okay. Because I'm, I'm always writing. And, uh, yeah. So... How did you get all of these Christian artists to come and and be on this new album, Testimony? I think that was a God thing. It's just a God thing. You know, he's, he's been, you know, you've been waiting a long time to do this project. It's something you've always wanted to do. You, you know, you ran out ahead of me once and did something that did absolutely nothing because you can't run ahead of God or you find yourself out there by alone, by yourself. So this is God's timing. This is God's project. He's brought it together. And I think he just made clear the path for me to get to all these different um, artists, wonderful artists, especially Mike and... Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's it's him. It's all him. And Mike, what's next on the horizon for you? Uh, we're working on a Christmas album, and uh, and we're hoping to put up uh, another record, uh, hopefully in the spring. Hope that's the goal. So it's always moving forward, doing more music because what do you, that's what we do. That's all we do. All right. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks so much. Mm-hmm.